Hello everyone, Triton HD here and welcome back to the Triton Army channel. I've been working on this glitch for the past day or so right? and I've perfected it. So without further ado, I'm going to explain to you how to get an AFK Godmo glitch where all the zombies are actually going to kill themselves. Don't even have to be there, alright? So let's jump straight into the video. Before I show you the glitch, you must make sure that you have a friend that's willing to do this with you, alright? He needs Frenzy Guard and make sure that he has Phallix and then also Rally. So what Phallix does, it allows you to regenerate your shields when you take damage. So as soon as he passes on the infection to you he's going to give this to you in game and then the next up we have rally so on activation repair all nearby allies armor to the full so as soon as he leaves your armor is going to be replenished to the full as well next up i'm going to show you is what i have for when he activates it for me so we're going to have four augments active at the same time as soon as he leaves the game all right so this one is retribution so trigger an explosion on activation normal enemies that melee you are damaged and knocked down all right in this case chaps they literally damage you and and then die instantly. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that after this. And next up is repair boost. That means repair more armor per kill. I'm going to turn around. You're going to see my armor take some damage. And as soon as I get a kill, that's literally going to go all the way up to the top. And the thing that makes it all come together, chaps, is this. Melee Marchiato. As you can see on screen, the major augment is all melee attacks are slightly faster. All right, so if you're like me and you've got a Chrono Zen, all you have to do is press one button. And it's just going to carry on meleeing. And you can go to round 999 if you like, chaps. Literally, it's a AFK, you don't have to do nothing apart from press one button and it's going to activate it on and off. If you don't want to do that, you're literally going to have to move about every two or three minutes. Right, and for the minor augment, we have strength training. So your punch can do one hit kills right up until round 999. And for the final augment that's going to tie it all together that makes you an unkillable machine is the juggernaut. Okay, you're going to need the tortoise shell. It actually protects you more from the front than it does from the back. And with everything together, you're pretty much a god in the game. And also we have the minor augment which is the hardened plates. Armor plates have more damage mitigation, all right? So as I said, chaps, with everything all together, and that's going to make you an unkillable machine, and you can go to, as I say, round 99. Right, I'm jumping into Liberty Falls, chaps. On my main account, what I'm doing is I'm killing myself. And on my second controller, this is your actual friend. He's going to get enough kills to get feeding frenzy. Then what he's going to do is run around the map and open up everything that he can with all the points that he's gained from helping you, all right? As you can see, he's opened up the whole map. Then what he's going to do is bring you into the game. So he's going to kill all the zombies. You're going to spawn in. Then he's going to activate Frenzy Guard and then leave the game. Once he's left the game, he's passed all that infection onto you. But first up, chaps, it doesn't work as you can see on screen right now. As soon as he does that, you will take damage. So then what you need to do is build up enough points yourself and then get Juggernaut. Once you've got that, you won't take damage from the front. The only thing that can actually hurt you are them little fucking creepy crawlies. They get you from the rear, they will cause you a little bit of damage. So I'm going to show you the best place to go obviously where that ain't gonna happen all right then what you want to do chaps is then go to the melee macchiato get that and then go and turn on the rage mode once you've turned on the rage mode you're going to come to the location exactly what i'll show you right now you want to come into this room come into the corner and then build up enough points to then upgrade everything that you need you're going to go and get all your perks and absolutely everything if you get any insta kills or anything like that change your weapon and that's going to give the current weapon that you're holding xp and then you just change back into your knife and then just carry on knife or anything like that. Whilst you're at it, chaps, you might as well change your field upgrade to energy mine. I see a video on YouTube and it was on this location, but the thing is, with this location, they get stuck on the door and they just can't come in. And it's actually a pretty shit location. And on top of the roof, it's the fastest spawn, but the downside to that is you do get moved around quite a lot. And if this happens and you stay like this permanently and you're not there, you will go down because of it. And if you want to get rid of all the GFX around the screen, all you need to do is go into the mangler suit, and then when you come out of that, all the GFX will be absolutely normal so hopefully you enjoy this one chaps if you do smack a like on the video let's try and get 800 likes if we can do that i'm gonna host a vault edition at the end of the month all right so hopefully you enjoyed the video it's been trying hd you gotta love you and leave you once you need ya and i'll see you guys on the next video yeah boy <laughs> huge slags have it